other symbols. At this stage in your Reiki, you may be seeing physical results from the use of various symbols. It is scientifically proven that symbols have an effect on people. Although this is thought to be psychological, symbols actually affect the chakras and the aura. This can be seen in other practices such as yantra meditation, where images are used to purify and evoke the subconscious. As I've discussed previously, many variations have evolved in the teaching of Reiki over the years. Some Reiki lineages use symbols that differ from the ones in this manual. To use most of these symbols, you need to receive them in an attunement. If you come across other symbols that are not part of the Reiki tradition, but you feel like you would like to incorporate them into your Reiki, ask your guides if they carry an energy that will enhance what you do. Om is a Sanskrit symbol used in many Eastern spiritual practices. It represents the universe functioning as a whole unit. To break it down in the spelling A-U-M, A equals father, mother, the beckoning creation. U equals son, daughter, the evolution of individual souls. And M would be absorbing of all that is created, the sacred sound of the universe. Om cleans, stabilizes, and seals the aura. It brings in light, purifies, protects, and connects with God. Om is chanted and visualized in gold and is used for healing or psychic attunement. Sound psychically charges the air with prana, which is under the direction of thought and can be directed specifically. It is recognized as the primal sound and chanted to control natural manifestations, represents the three manifestations of all life, creation, preservation, and destruction. Use in the initiation process to seal in the other symbols or to seal each part of the attunement. Om opens the crown and if drawn above the head, opens the pathway to God and higher consciousness. The Dumo symbol. This symbol is pronounced Dumo, also known as Tibetan master symbol or Tibetan Daikomio. It represents the swirling fiery heat of the Kundalini. Dumo or Dumo fire is the heat which ascends over the spine as a result of Kundalini awakening. The unification of mind and body produce the emanation of heat. Heat is the lowest range of vibration, radiating out to produce the form or body. Dumo is the igniter of the sacred flame or kundalini fire. Dumo unifies the mind and body and works with the fire in the base chakra. Dumo pulls negative energy and disease out of a body, room, or situation and releases it. It is thought to heal the soul bring spiritual growth. It can be used on crystals to self-clear. Dumo's main focus is healing. It is used in the attunement process with violet breath, where it is visualized in gold. It is not to be confused with the goddess spiral, which is used in Wiccan-based faiths. The Kriya symbol. The symbol is pronounced Kriya. It represents perfect balance. It is also called Chokure, or double Chokure. Kriya means action. The law of Kriya is that of creation and of action. Draw the symbol with both hands simultaneously. Kriya is used for physical manifestation. It is thought to help to heal the human race. Kriya brings in and or releases energy creating balance. Kriya raises awareness and transforms thoughts into action and manifestation. It is used in the attunement drawing over the body and sweeping off the hands, saying something like, you are in perfect balance and oneness with all that is. Zonar. Zonar means infinity or eternity. To draw the symbol, first draw the Z, and then the infinity three times. This symbol is thought to work with past lives. The theory being that the cells carry the memory of trauma, and ideas from both this life and previous lives. The symbol is thought to help us work through these issues and release them and the associated karma. Because of this, it is thought to work well with child abuse. It is also to help with things to formulate issues not clearly defined and allow us to open ourselves to the awareness of these issues and our humanity. Lastly, it is used for dimensional access. In Karuna Kayib, 
The specific technique for using Zonar is to connect to the loving, compassionate energy of the Divine Source, which is infinite, and to use this infinite love for healing. Zonar Zonar means infinity or eternity. To draw the symbol, first draw the Z, and then the infinity three times. This symbol is thought to work with past lives. The theory being that the cells carry the memory of trauma and ideas from both this life and previous lives. The symbol is thought to help us work through these issues and release them and the associated karma. Because of this, it is thought to work well with child abuse. It is also to help with things to formulate issues not clearly defined and allow us to open ourselves to the awareness of these issues and our humanity. Lastly, it is used for dimensional access. In Karuna Kai, the specific technique for using Zonar is to connect to the loving, compassionate energy of the Divine Source, which is infinite, and to use this infinite love for healing. The Hearth Symbol this symbol is pronounced exactly as it is spelled. Hearth means love, truth, beauty, harmony, and balance. It is the main symbol of Karuna Ki. It represents the infinite love and compassion of the source. Hearth is the symbol for the heart from which healing and love flow. It is used to heal the heart and issues of the heart and helps one de develop Karuna compassion. It is useful and helpful in healing relationships. Hearth restores our love of life and for the things that we do. Hearth is good to use for addictions of all kinds. The Hearth Symbol This symbol is pronounced exactly as it is spelled. Hearth means love, truth, beauty, harmony, and balance. It is the main symbol of Karuna Ki. It represents the infinite love and compassion of the Source. Hearth is the symbol for the heart from which healing and love flow. It is used to heal the heart and issues of the heart and helps one de develop Karuna compassion. It is useful and helpful in healing relationships. Hearth restores our love of life and for the things that we do. Hearth is good to use for addictions of all kinds. The Nosa symbol. The word Nosa is derived from the Greek Gnosis meaning mystical and spiritual knowledge acquired through feeling and prophecies from God. Gnosis is also the belief that God reveals equally to all creation and through that personal intimate connection. Gnosis links you more strongly with the higher self and brings higher consciousness into the physical body. Gnosis increases awareness of dimensional levels of self. It can create a spinning merkaba at the heart center, uplifting consciousness. This symbol, like hearth, is a primary symbol in Karuna Ki. It is through Gnosis that we develop the oneness and the compassion of God. The Iyava symbol. The symbol balances the four elements. When drawing the four small loops, say earth with the first, water with the second, wind or air with the third, and fire with the fourth, Iyava helps pierce the veil of illusion that is our conditioned thoughts and beliefs. By doing this, we see things as they are, not as our conditional beliefs would lead us to believe. In this oneness of mind, we are free to respond to another in the moment rather than react from past conditionings. Yava can heighten awareness to reality. It is used to help you take action on your own plans. Yava is used for planetary healing. It will help to heal the earth with situations, places, disasters, disease, etc. And just a side note, Iava is great when you're struggling with retrogrades, especially Mercury retrograde. The Shanti symbol. Shanti translated means peace. Shanti helps heal the past. Shanti can help you to live harmoniously in the present and to release the past and future. We often hold on to past hurts and dreams that prevent us from healing. Shanti helps us to stop recreating for ourselves the feelings stemming from the past and our beliefs about them. By using Shanti and sending peace to these past situations, we free ourselves from the attachments that we hold on to. It is in this love that we heal. Shanti can be used for manifesting the best possible results. It releases fears and nightmares. 
Shanti soothes the aura, creating a feeling of peace. Shanti is used in the attunement, drawing over the body and sweeping off the hands, saying, you are filled with divine peace. Tibetan Fire Serpent. The fire serpent represents the sleeping serpent coiling at the base of the spine. The fire serpent is used during an attunement with horizontal line over the top of crown, snaking down the spine and spiraling clockwise at the base of the spine. It grounds energy into the lower body. By reversing the spiral counterclockwise, starting at the base of the spine, snaking up the spine, and ending with horizontal line over the crown, it pushes energy up to the four upper chakras. It does not allow energy to escape out of the crown chakra. The fire serpent connects and opens all chakras. It opens the central channel, allowing the flow of kundalini fire, or the dumo. It can be used in healing or meditation for more balance and receptivity.